zero day remote code execution spring for shell son of a hey folks it's mac again okay let's relax we've been here before log for j well sort of this is different in scale and dependency what was everybody googling today what is the spring framework put simply the Spring Framework is a Java platform that supports the development of Java applications. It does so by offering a framework that is lightweight, but very robust for enterprise web application development. Why should I not panic? Well, to successfully exploit the vulnerability requires some prerequisites that in my view narrows the risk. Prerequisites include, are you running Apache Tomcat? Did you package the application as a traditional web archive? War file. By the way, that's not the default. A Spring Boot executable jar is. Uh, where's my web guy? Are you running specific versions of the Spring framework? 5.3.0 to 5.3.17 and 5.2.0 to 5.2.19. Was that application published with the Spring Web MVC or Spring Web Flux dependency? This is why you should track as much detail as possible on your assets. Don't get me wrong. You should patch. Always patch. I love a good patch. Not really. These vulnerabilities are new, and more are sure to follow. It may remove those dependencies and be deadly. So yeah, be prepared to patch. Spring has released a patch framework, 5.3.18 and 5.2.20. Many vendors have already released threat signatures, so ensure those next gens and WAFs are in place to reset that traffic. Spring has also posted a suggested workaround to adjust the application. I'll post the blog below. Stay tuned, stay informed. Follow that Spring blog. More patches are likely to come. And that's how we make it better and move it forward.